Me, sir. Look at those figures. Already this month we've sold 1,823. You look hot. Have a chuck eyes. 1,824 ice creams. Fantastic. Sir, I don't really... Oh, don't worry. I get free samples. Oh, it's not that. I've... Oh, I'm sorry. Here, let me. Now, you don't mind me. You go right ahead. I have to watch my... Uh... <clears throat> Sir, it's the ice cream. Indeed it is. It is the ice cream. Ask any cinema manager. The graph, sir. Oh, splendid. This year we're really expanding. Sir, we have to cut down well, uh, on yeah. unnecessary expenditure. Oh, yes. Oh, well, I, I couldn't, couldn't agree more. Well, the sort of paper we use here at head office. Far too much. Yes, th this sort of thing. Yeah, gross extravagance. So we thought it would help if we use narrower columns. This wide. Yes, sir. Well, that would just be a thin line. Exactly. Slim. Like our non-fattening products. Yeah, but just as tall. Oh, yes, sir. We don't want to see a drop in sales, do we? Hello. I expect you've made graphs more like this. The height of each column is what matters, not its width. This graph tells us exactly the same information as this one. Or this one. But do the columns always go upwards? These children are lining up in alphabetical order. And here they are.
If we turn this photograph into a graph, it might look something like this. But the graph wastes a lot of paper because of the width of each name. Hmm, can you see what we might do? Can you read the names? Let's make it easier. Ellen, Caroline, Charles, Cheryl, Darren, Denise, Jeffrey, Grant, Jamie, Janice, Jason, Julie, Karen, Cave, Kevin, Marcy, Shell, Nicola, Rachel, Raymond, Richard, Sharon, Stephen, Tina, Tracy. You saw how the children took up less space. We can do the same with our graph. Now a graph like this is called a horizontal bar chart. The other kind is a vertical bar chart, or just a bar chart. Here are the children again, but they've rearranged themselves with the tallest on the left. We'll put the tallest at the top. Tracy, Jeremy, Jason, Ryan, Martin, Grant, Julie, Jeffrey, Rachel, Cheryl, Sharon, Kevin, Denise, Ellen, Keith, Dennis, Karen, Tina, Michelle, Nicola, Richard, Stephen, Darren, Charles, Carolyn. And here's the graph. Suppose your name was, um, let's say that your name was Raymond, and you wanted to find out about your height you'd probably use this chart and follow this across and then all the way up to the top so that if your name was Raymond you could see easily that you were 149 centimeters tall and there are only three children taller than Raymond there's Jamie and Jason and right down at the end here there's Tracy. But if you wanted to find out about the shortest children then you'd probably use this graph. Now Carolyn is the shortest then Charles and then Darren. You've probably noticed that we use red for the girls and blue for the boys. Do you think that 10-year-old girls are usually taller than 10-year-old boys, or is it the other way around? That's something you could investigate after the programme. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Absolutely splendid. Now, in May, we were over 1,600, uh, and that's not counting overseas. June, you want the figures for June? Well, oh, we well, don't seem to... Uh, could you hold on a minute, please, sir? Uh, yeah, let's see, uh, in July, we were 2,000, and that's 400 more than May. Sales going up. So in June, we should be 200 more than May. That's 1,800. Probably did better call it 1,900. <clears throat> Hello, sir. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, just checking on the files there, sir. Yes, sales in June were 1,900, sir, at least. Oh, not at all, sir. Any time you want sales information, I'll be delighted to... Help. Come in. Here are the June figures, sir. Remember you asked me to check them? Yeah, so much for economy. I beg your pardon? I see you run out of that slim line tape already. Oh, no, there's plenty left. You mean that's all we sold? Oh, yes, sir. 800. All that bad weather, never very good for sales.
Hello, sir. Uh, um, I don't quite know how to put this, sir, but uh, you know I was saying just now about the, uh, the 1900s, sir. Well, uh... What went wrong? Well, if the graph says nothing about ice cream sales in June, you can't invent sales. You can only use the information you actually have. But sometimes you can make a sensible guess. I'll show you what I mean. This is a picture of Linda, taken when she was six months old. And here she is, just one year old. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 years old. And here is the graph which shows how Linda grew. For instance, when she was, uh, let's say, seven years old, she was 110, 20, 120 centimetres tall. But there's a column missing. It doesn't tell us how tall Linda was when she was 10. So I'm going to make a sensible guess, an estimate. Now, when Linda was nine, she was 110, 20, 30, 136 centimetres tall and when she was 11 she was 152 centimetres tall. So in two years Linda grew 152 take away 136 that's 16 centimetres. Now I'm going to guess that Linda grew the same amount in the first year as she did in the next year. I might turn out to be wrong, but I don't think I'll be very far off. Now, half of 16 is eight, and I've decided that Linda grew by eight centimeters in each year. So when she was 10, she was 136 plus eight, which is 144 centimetres tall. I'll just put a little mark in there. Now, that's my guess. Have you noticed anything about the tops of the columns? They're in a straight line. And that's because I decided that Linda grew by the same amount each year. Now, when Linda was about three years old, she grew by a lot more. How fast did she grow later? Now, when she was 13, she was a 162 centimetres. That's just about the same height as me. And when she was 14, she was 160, count up to five, 165. And at 15, she was 168 centimetres tall. So if she continued growing like that until she was 25, she would have been 198 centimetres, that's that tall. Do you think that's right? Let's see what really happened. No, in fact, Linda didn't grow any taller after she was 17 years old. And to prove it, here she is. Hello, Linda. Hello. Thanks very much for coming along to help okay. us out. Um, did your dad take those photos of you every year? 
Yes, he did. And it's about this time of the year that he took them. And uh, when it was a nice day on a Saturday. Well, it's jolly lucky for us, because you're one of the very few people in the country that have had that done. So without your dad, we couldn't have done this. And just to show that you haven't grown any more since you were 17, could you stand up against the 17 mark for us? Okay. Except maybe you should slip your shoes off, because you've actually fair. got high <laughs> heels on. And to show that we are being very fair. So up against the 17. Uh, yes, I think we can see, because you've got lovely bouncy hair, it makes it look a bit different, but we can see that, yes, you're still the same height that you were when you were 17. Fantastic, nice. thank you. Oh, and just one more question to prove that we are being indeed very, very fair. Have you ever been two metres tall? Thank goodness, no. <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness, Rusty. Thanks very much, Linda. Um, I think Roger's got something to show us now. Now, here's something that grows much faster than people. In fact, it grows downwards. Now, at the moment, this point is on zero. But if I put 20 grams on it, it extends to three centimeters. Three and a half centimeters. With 60 grams, it's at uh, thirteen centimeters. I've made a graph of that. Now, I don't know what the extension will be with 40 grams, and I don't have to guess because I can ask Roger to do it for me. But before I do ask him, can you think what it'll be? Ready, go. Let's see if you are right. Um, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Now, I wonder what it'll be with a hundred and sixty grams. Now, my guess is... About 40, just over 40. So, Roger, can you try it out for us, please? Now, if Elaine is right, it should extend to here. So let's see, shall we? Are you ready? 